When tracing fixed costs to products, the volume used as denominator should be selected with great care. Companies make the common mistake of choosing the actual volume as the denominator because this volume allocates all costs to the products. This mistake exposes the company to the risk of a death spiral. If you use actual volume as the denominator, cost estimates fluctuate with this volume. For example, your fixed costs are 6,000 euros and you produce 150 units for a cost per unit of 40 euros. The following period, your volume drops to 120 units. If you divide by units, the fixed cost per unit increases to 50 euros. You may think now your products are more expensive and raise the price. Demand drops the following period to 100 units and the cost per unit goes to 60 euros. As your volume drops, your fixed cost per unit increases. To avoid the risk of a death spiral, the volume used as the denominator should equal the practical capacity of the fixed resources. A constant denominator leads to a constant fixed cost per unit. The cost system works as follows. If the actual volume is smaller than the practical capacity, then a certain amount of fixed costs will cost of excess capacity. Take your total variable costs and divide them by the volume produced. Then take your fixed costs and divide them by practical capacity. Clear identification of such a cost should encourage management to act and find ways to fully utilize the capacity or to reduce it as quickly as possible. The concept of death spiral is easy to understand, but in reality, it is difficult to spot. A red flag to quickly identify the spiral is to analyze whether the change of unit costs are directly linked to volume changes.